Uh, I'm Alexandra. I work in an energy company in Vienna and I've had long COVID since two years, since um, the end of August 2020. What was the most interesting um, to me was this feeling of fatigue or tiredness that I've never felt before. Your whole body is so heavy. The overall recommendation was you'll get well, you're young, you had a COVID infection and things kept getting worse. The scariest thing was that nobody knew what was happening. I was off work for nine months in the beginning. Then I started a phased return. I had to interrupt it, was off work again. Back then I, uh, I was running a department and I realized after one and a half years of long COVID that this is something I cannot do anymore. My name's Molly. I'm a hospital physiotherapist who works for the long COVID team and contracted COVID um, in May 2020. Having done a 5K run two days prior, I woke up one morning with a horrendous temperature, a headache, um, extreme fatigue, and I got to the stage where I couldn't leave the house. I lost all confidence in my body and it didn't just push back on my physical health, it pushed back to a degree where I lost myself and I lost my identity. But I'd say my, my rehab took over a year to start introducing what I would class as um, more intense even moderate intense activity where I wasn't getting a kickback um, of this flattening of fatigue. I saw a psychologist quite early on, which is one of the significantly important things that happened in my rehab. If you look at me, you have no idea I'm ill and this is the case for many of us. I'm very lucky with my job and uh, with the country I live in because I obviously had financial worries. There was a time when I wasn't sure I would be ever able to work again. People who want to work cannot work anymore and we want to contribute to the society. So acknowledge it, listen to us and help us find solutions. I now work um, in the long COVID clinics as a physiotherapist and we provide assessments and then management strategies for giving a holistic approach to sort of managing the long COVID symptoms that people are getting. I think this is literally the tip of an iceberg. I feel like we are only scratching the surface of the degree of the problem that we have with the survival of people who have suffered with long COVID. And I'm quite proud to be that person that hopefully can give other people hope and motivation that although there's some very dark times, there can be a light and you can find your identity again.